Hey everyone, as a little break from the two LPs I've got ongoing, and for me, a little bit of a relaxing LP during my spring break, I present to you a game that is relatively unknown, especially compared to most of the stuff which I usually cover. Cubivore, Survival of the Fittest. Probably one of the only games where there's poop on the title screen. But that's not really the good part about the game. It, it's a very, uh, interesting game. I'm sure you'll notice that as we go through it. For now, just the intro sequence should give you an idea. And before I forget to mention, this is Shag. Or should I say, Primal Mighty Might, Piggy Shag. I feel so nice, so warm. I remember in great detail a past I neither saw nor heard. Once upon a time, the world was full of wilderness, and dazzling, colorful beasts thundered across its untamed plains. Until one day, the colorless beasts arrived, and began to devour the wilderness. Soon the land was no longer wild. The colorless ones kept the wild in their ashen bodies until it formed raw meat, giving them great power. Among them was a beast that boasted six pieces of raw meat. This beast, known as Killer Cubivore, became king of the entire world and set out to consume all of its wilderness. If nothing is done, the wilderness will disappear, and the world will wither and fade. I want to live. That was the first thought I ever had. I want to be alive. Welcome, everyone, to Paw Dunes, the first level of the game. Ah, I am born. I am alive. I'm Piggy Shag. I come into this world a beast, and as a beast, I shall eat and eat and become king of all cubivores. So, this is cubivore. You may have noticed that everything is a cube. It's probably where the name comes from. As a little cubivore, we can hop around, we can guard, and we can walk backwards, in addition to moving the camera. Our little piggy avatar here will do a lot of explaining for me, so I don't have to worry too much about that. I found some snack grass. It's got a delicious tint to it. I feel like I have more energy now. Snack grass is your basic no-effort healing item, with our HP being represented by that stomach meter in the upper left. The stomach meter is different depending on the form you have. Right now we just have a form that's colorless, which is the only form of its type in the whole game. Also the worst form, of course. The little flappy thing there is a limb, which you will get more of as we progress. But, uh, I'll just wait until the game introduces forms itself to go into more detail. Is that a bug? Wanna eat! Wanna eat! Wanna eat! Wanna eat! Wanna eat! Wanna eat! The bug is a slightly better form of healing. It requires a little bit more effort to get, but not too much. Since we're at full stomach, there's really no purpose in eating all these guys. 
but that won't stop me. Here we have something slightly different. The training grounds. It's a wooden horse. Beef up my body and my attack level. Move up to the white line. Hold down L and press A to pounce. L is the basic locks on, or lock on function of the game, which I've already used, but the longer you hold it down, the better it works. This training turf is toast. There are different training turfs for uh, various stats in the game that are permanent, unlike limbs and forms, but we'll get to why that is later. After a certain amount of time, you can't really do anything else with these training grounds. But if you come back to the level later, which you will, they will be back for further use. Here we have a love bit. Tastes like love to me. Collect a hundred love bits, and the females will just adore me. Yes, you're gonna have to do some mating in this game. In fact, that's how you gain more looms. The more love bits and different forms you have, the more options of children you get. Oh, uh, look, more training grounds. Toadstools. I should practice my hunting skills. Approach the toadstools. Hell to lock on. A to grab and holding down on the control stick to eat these wooden planks, which is probably not very healthy. But this is how hunting other humivores works. Just replace the wooden planks with their limbs. You eat those one by one. And as you eat them, you gain the color they have and transform. But once again, we're not quite there yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. There we are. Uh-oh. It's got some color to its body. Uh, color meat? This color beast is a tire jack. Hold down L and press A to pounce. Every form has a different color combination, and within the colors there are even light, dark, and I believe metallic. It might be called something else. Each form also has a name, often pretty silly. I ate some color meat. Did I get any stronger? We are now a tire jack, similar to the one we just ate, except the pig. We are now the color yellow. We can do amazing things like this. There are five different colors, I believe. There is yellow, red, purple, blue, and black. Yellow... they are each better at different things. Yellow is attack, red is jumping which we will see in a minute. There he goes. Blue is defense. Purple is... fast. When they're backing up, strangely enough. And I believe that black is just sort of good all around. Or perhaps fast going forward. One of the two. I ate some color meat. I feel a bit more buff. We are now a hanky. A pale red one limb. Here's a pear purple. Pear? I mean pale, sorry. <laughs> That's a bit silly. Purple is one of my favorites because backing up really fast is kind of funny. I mutated. I mutated again. My shape changes with each color. That's what I already explained, piggy me. But now that we're in eject, we can back up really fast. 
If we go forward normally, it doesn't work quite as well. This will help speed up the rather slow pace of the game. But what's this? Oh, it's nothing. It just looks like it's something. The camera in this game is a little bit finicky, though. You can't have a perfect game. A door! It's a doorway to the next land. That baby's got some dark color meat. It... it must be straw. And indeed it is. It has more health than anything we've seen thus far. Which will change in a couple seconds, actually, but... Hey. Dark color meat is, of course, stronger than pale. And then metallic, or whatever the third stage is called, is, of course, stronger than dark. My body got some dark meat to it. I feel somewhat stronger. It's inadvisable to get used to having dark meat in the beginning of this game, because we have not yet collected pale, black, or blue, which will show up shortly. You might think that that's all that there is here, but no. A secret! A rare species. Here we have dark purple. Hey. Come on now. Gotcha. And from a scarf, we transform into a stocking. Yep. This is a little bit silly. Then again, the entire game is a little bit silly, so I suppose that's appropriate. And with that, we've got everything in the first level of the game. I conquered Pardoon. Piggy Shag mutated five times. And here we have all the little mutations. A bestiary keeps track of everything you've got. It also details what each type does. And, of course, we're saving. Whew! I'm plum tuckered out. What with being born, and picking out... It was a killer schedule for my first day. I'm totally oinked out. Uh, zonked out? Ah! Zonked out! Sorry. I haven't quite mastered the art of language yet. Anywho, glad to be born and all, but to be totally honest, I didn't have a clue what I was doing. Just vague ideas. But if I close my eyes and search the back of my bacon brain, I can see a world teeming with wilderness. Colorful animals, colorful lands. I want to bring this color back to the world. Eating the color meat makes my body take on many shapes. It's the vitamin D, or perhaps the protein, or maybe the savory taste. Piggy Shag. Limerick on his first day. Not too bad. And with that, we're at the second level, Bleach White Highlands. But I think that that's a good introduction to this game for now. So until next time, this is Shag, and thanks for watching. <laughs>